Power lines and extreme weather can be a very dangerous combination. In 2011, the Victorian Government announced a $750 million power line bushfire safety program. Designed to look at ways of significantly reducing the risk of bushfires being started by electrical assets. At PowerCore, we're always looking for ways to improve safety on the network. One way we're doing this is by installing what's known as Rapid Earth Fault Current Limiters, or REFCALs. How does the REFCAL technology reduce the risk of bushfire starts from fallen power lines? Let's take a look. When a power line comes into contact with the ground or a tree, the energy released can cause a large spark. The line can continue sparking if it remains live, increasing the potential for a fire. So acting fast is critical. The REFCAL device is complicated, but basically works like a large safety switch on our electricity network. We install a monitoring device at our zone substation. This device checks the performance of all power lines leaving the substation, from the town centre to the furthest point. Power lines are typically grouped in lines of three. If a fault is detected on one of the lines, the REFCAL reduces the power in the line rapidly while simultaneously boosting the voltage of the other two lines. This means we can maintain power to homes and businesses while substantially reducing the fire risk. After a few moments, the device checks to determine if the fault is still present. If it is temporary, then power is restored to the line. If it is a permanent fault, power will be shut off to protect against fire risk and make it safe for our crews to fix. From now until 2023, we'll be installing these safety devices in 22 of our electricity zone substations across Western Victoria's highest bushfire risk areas. We still have plenty of work to do, so you may see our crews out and about, preparing our lines to get them REFCOL ready. It's another way we're on top of things, working to improve the electricity network for the communities we operate in.